Praying mantis is a fascination critters, praying mantises have got recognition because of their raptorial legs. Though a mantis comes with six legs but its front legs make it one of the deadliest insects on the planet. Whenever it senses any danger or it is about to ambush its live prey, it stands still in an eerie posture, that involves its front legs in a praying position. Before we go on please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything. Now it's time to see and hear how dangerous these things are. Praying mantises mostly eat live insects. They never eat dead animals. Despite their small size, they may eat spiders, frogs, lizards, and small birds. Praying mantises aren't generally known to bite humans, but it is possible. They could do it by accident if they see your finger as prey, but like most animals, they know how to correctly identify their food. With their excellent eyesight, they're likely to be able to identify you as something bigger than their usual prey. By any name, these fascinating insects are formidable predators. National Geographic describes some of their unique traits slash facts. Triangular heads poised on a long neck, or elongated thorax, can turn their heads 180 degrees to scan their surroundings. They have two large compound eyes and three other simple eyes located between them. Well camouflaged in a green or brown color on the plants among which they live. Lie in ambush or patiently stalk their quarry. Use their front legs to snare their prey with reflexes so quick that they are difficult to see with the naked eye. Their legs have spikes for snaring prey and pinning it in place. Eat moths, crickets, grasshoppers, flies, and other insects. They will eat others of their own kind. Adult female, who sometimes eats her mate just after or even during mating. Females regularly lay hundreds of eggs in a small case. Nymphs hatch looking much like tiny versions of their parents. If you find yourself outside this time of year, you might come across one of the world's more intriguing insects, praying mantises. Despite their saw-like arms and alien eyes, they pose no threat unless of course you happen to be an insect, gecko, or hummingbird. But it displays the deadliest behavior, when it stalks its prey or when it is attacked or provoked by any predator, including human. Praying mantis is not poisonous neither it has any stingers. Most interestingly, it uses its foreleg spikes to protect itself. The prominent forelegs are lined with outnumbered sharp spines to aid it in griping its prey item tightly. These needle-like spines are enough to get pierced in the skin. If something like that happens to you, simply wash the skin with soap and apply some first aid ointment on the affected area. Reports that mantises are an order of insects that contains over 2,400 species in about 430 genera in 15 families. The largest family is the mantidae. Mantises are distributed worldwide in temperate and tropical habitats. They have triangular heads with bulging eyes supported on flexible necks. A praying mantis is a type of insect known for being a great hunter. Praying comes from the way these insects hold their front legs below their head, as if they were in prayer. Despite its excellent hunting skills, a praying mantis is unlikely to ever bite you. Praying mantises can be found almost anywhere from forests to deserts. These insects have a long body 2 to 5 inches in length, depending on the species and are usually green or brown. Adults have wings but don't use them. Like other insects, praying mantises have 6 legs, but they only use their back 4 legs to walk. This is because those front 2 legs are used mostly for hunting. They usually sit on the stems or leaves of tall plants, flowers, shrubs, or grasses to hunt. Their coloring serves as camouflage, allowing them to blend in with the sticks and leaves around them, and then wait for their food to come to them. When prey comes near, the praying mantis quickly grabs it with its front legs. These legs have spikes to hold the prey so that the mantis can eat.
Though their long forelegs are perfect for catching food, they're only good for reaching outward, so if prey or an enemy gets too close, those legs are basically useless. Whether you're in the water, on a mountain trail, or in your backyard, wildlife you encounter have ways of protecting themselves and their territory. Insects, such as bees, ants, fleas, flies, mosquitoes, wasps, and arachnids, may bite or sting if you get close. Most won't bother you if you don't bother them, but knowing what to look for is key. Praying mantises are carnivores, meaning they eat other animals. Their primary food source is other arthropods, or insects, spiders, and similar creatures, but they may also eat lizards, frogs, small birds, and fish if the opportunity arises. Larger mantises will also eat smaller mantises if they're available. Two traits strengthen the hunting, they simply reach out with their spiky forelegs, catching prey in their spine so it can't get free. They dig in without killing the creature, holding onto it tightly so it doesn't get away. Mantises are hunters, typically attacking by ambushing or stalking prey. Some are well camouflaged in their environment, while others count on just remaining very still until prey happens by. However, they may also stalk creatures, following them and moving out of sight until they spot the right opportunity to attack. A few species may run over the ground in search of prey, but it is far more common for mantises to hide and wait for their food to come to them. Some species have particularly large guts, which can hold food for later digestion. Thank you for watching.